Hey everybody, welcome back. Getting my lighting adjusted here, so I apologize for the delay on this starting. Also wrapping up watching Patty, Patty Potato Peeler, getting his stuff dialed in. There we go, you can see stuff a little bit better now. What are you guys up to? What's up, Morgan? Be for Barons here, nice, nice. You guys ready for a giveaway? Do a little giveaway here. No, oh, that's weird. What's up, RG2? Yeah, Patty was awesome. Love that guy. Let's see, I'm just loading up my video stuff so we can do a quick one. Yeah, we're doing some giveaways. I want to show off a few knives that I have here. Fortunately, the lighting's not working with me too well right now, so apologize for that. Jay Inferno's here, Matt's here. What's up with you guys? Let's see if I miss anyone else. Evil Ops, Chris. Nice. Woodland Tactical's here, right on. Brennan's here. The Jeffer 68, Carson's here. Norman's here. Yeah, I just got done watching Patty myself, so. I know, it's not at midnight. Manny's here, Josh is here. What's up, Justin? Dirk's here. Nice, so I'm just gonna do my giveaway. Um, Want to give a shout out to Slicey Dicey for, you know, giving me a shout out and boosting up a bunch of my subscribers. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Rodney. Also, a shout out to Pearson Custom Knives. I'll get into that more in just a second, but that's linked in the description down below as well. Go check him out on Instagram. Uh, another 535 yesterday, but couldn't find an REI. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, it is early. So I know you got, that was one thing. It was late for everybody. So I didn't want to fringe on Patty's. So I was getting my stuff ready and Patty went live too. He always goes on Sunday. So, but I want to make sure to get this giveaway done for you guys. So like the Benchmade stand, uh, this one right here, this one was made by uh, Norman or I'm not sure how he wants to be called on here, but a very, very kind gift here. He made me this one. Yeah, Randy, I, you know, you got to help people out best you can. So I had an extra, it was from an event I went to. Uh, I was given a coupon, uh, get a little bit off of a knife, so I took care of him. Yeah, it is a really nice stand, New York John. It's really nice. So thank you again, Norman. He's on here. I saw him. Um, he built this for me. It's a nice, cool stand. I'll try to show it off later. Yeah, Stacy or Slicey was really stoked. He was having a good time with it. I know it's something he really, really wanted. So I got mine for Christmas, just after Christmas. It was given to me for Christmas, but they were out because uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're one piece of titanium, the handle. It's all one piece. So a lot of milling time and all that just for one handle. So they come in small batches and that's it. Spidey hole, spidey hole on one of these. Uh, we got a honey badger, medium size, custom work from JT's Knife Life. Go check him out if you wanna get one customized, he'll do it upright for you. you got a large Pilar. What's up, Michael? Zach's here. What's up, Zach? I know. Thanks, Michael. What's up, Big Red? Big Red's here. If you didn't check his awesome, awesome Big uh, Big Red Saturday Knife Live last night. You got to schedule it next week. Milky Mike's here. What's up, what's up? So we're going to do a little giveaway. Hopefully, you guys all checked out my other feeds and saw that uh, I like the Anthem, personally, so I would I would totally say for that. Looking forward to the bailout. Uh, so officially, the release date is April 26th of this month, so yeah, so that's one of those things. And that's right there, Norman. 
I don't know if you have a different name you want to go by, but he's the one that hooked me up with the stand. So, yeah, the bailout's good stuff. What's up, Carson? And Aaron. Rich is here, too. So I'm just going to input this. We're going to input the link into the old randomizer. And we're going to go check out and do ourselves a little giveaway. But first, let me just go remove some of this stuff. This is the Benchmade Knife Works 940 Special Edition. I think it's the 1501. You can go with that one. Oh, I think I got it. I'll go with whatever name. Nice. Don't bother none is here. Don't bother none. Nice. Uh, bailout, I think US dollars is going to be 165 Something like that. Right around 165 I think. Oh, I saw a question in there. Rich, you had a good question. Uh, 170 Okay. Yeah, it just depends where you buy it. 144 like Blade HQ, some other places are selling for like 144 uh, I'm in Oregon. That's where I'm located. Hootie who. Hootie who too. Uh, but I like this one. It's one of my favorites. You've probably seen it on my channel before. But let me move some of these things. Move these out of the way. I'm going to bring in the knives that we're going to... Not knives, sorry. That's for, the, that's for my next giveaway. So if you guys help me get over 2,000... There's going to be some knives in that giveaway, so I'm going to move this out of the way. You know, these are kind of the basics, your KPL, your blue Loctite, things that everybody needs. Uh, so first package giveaway, if you've seen on my other on my other posts, the subscriber giveaway, and I apologize, I was out doing tons of yard work, my hands are all dirty, so I tried to clean them best I could. Many apologies for that. Yeah, Slicey brought you, nice. So this is a polka pen, this is the uh, navy blue. Super lightweight, super compact, fits anywhere, and a key bar with titanium, but the custom anal work done by PVK Vegas. So this is something that Pearson Custom Knives has donated to my giveaway, and it's got both sets of screws, so you can do it however you want. What's up, Raymond? Yeah, it is pretty nice. So he uh, donated this, Pearson Custom Knives, so... Thank you to Pearson Custom Knives. They are linked down below the Instagram. Got some cool knives that he makes, so check him out. So that's the first giveaway package. So we'll leave that one open, set it off to the side. Yeah, everybody works, exactly. Yeah, I know, but still it's one of those things where, you know, you're trying to put on a good uh, show. You don't want to look at people's dirty hands, but... Um, you can't put the key bar on a key ring. Well, it's got a little loop right here. I don't know if you can see it. This little loop that comes out of there. You see that? So you could technically put that on there. I'm sure I'm going to do something that I shouldn't do to my bug out, but... You know, whatever. You, see, you guys have probably seen my torture test video of the bug out. If you haven't, go check it out. So you could use that right there to put on your key ring. So you can put lots of stuff in there. And I think if you go to Keybar's website, they even have a knife blade that they're making that you can buy and add to it. It's for key fobs. Oh, okay. The loop's made for key fobs. But I guess technically you could put it on the keyring too if you wanted to. Chavez makes one too. Okay, nice. Yeah, and I've seen those blades. They're pretty nice. So I have one myself and I'm going to get that blade attachment because that's pretty cool. So the second package, giveaway package, um, is hosted by me. This is a Mighty Hanks, and it's got the super microfiber inside, so you can wipe your glasses, your phone off, and then you can use this to, like, wipe your nose, do whatever. And it's, of course, big red color, so hopefully you win that. And this here is a Right in the Rain Spiral Notebook Kit. Comes with your, of course, Eugene's in the house. What's up, what's up? Raymond's here. Oh, you have the mass drop blade in it. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Big Red. But this is just the line notepad, lots of it, right in the rain. It also comes with a right in the rain pen, black ink, and then tons of spots to put everything in here. So it's a cool little notebook. You can throw that in your pack. You can throw it in, you know, a side, side pocket of your pants or something, whatever works. Put it in your work bag. But that's, that's package number two. And then package number three is going to be Chad's here. Gun Gizmo's here. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's a nice Hank. So this is going to be package number three. So it's going to be a Benchmade morale patch. 
Uh, so if you don't know how to enter, uh, go through my videos really quick. And there's one called Subscriber Giveaway. Uh, it's probably about eight to ten videos ago. And leave a message on there about what you like about my channel and what do you want to see in the future. And that will qualify you. So I'm going to do the draw live drawing here in a, in a minute. So get over there if you want to enter. Uh, we'll also include a Benchmade sticker on this one, the Benchmade morale patch, and a guided field sharpener, Benchmade branding, but it's from WorkSharp. So kind of cool stuff. If you haven't used one of these, I have a standard WorkSharp one that's yellow. doesn't have the Benchmade branding because I've been giving all mine away that I buy. So <laughs> this will be the third package, the little Benchmade package here. So. You want to see me drive a truck over knives? I know. So I got the turret uh, testing that's starting this week. So I'm probably going to do a quick video and kind of put a list out there of what I'm already planning on doing. And then I'm going to ask for your guys' help on some other, you know, ideas for testing that turret, the Benchmade turret, uh, which will include, you know, driving over things, all sorts of stuff. So thanks, Big Red. I appreciate it. Woodland said, yeah, you reviewed the Workshop Brandon one. Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, it's the really nice part is, let me grab mine, hold on. So the really nice part is you can take these plates and they're magnetic, so you can flip them over. And of course you got instructions in it and stuff, but you can flip these over and then use them as you need to. And then when you're done, you can take these and put them back. So it's nice and smooth. Of course they're also labeled, but it's smooth. So you don't end up getting that stuff, you know, dinging up any of your other stuff in your bag or your pack, whatever you throw it in. And the same with this one. And this is just the fine one, more fine one. So yeah, anyways, these are cool. Got a little strop, got a little rod here for honing, another one for fish hooks and stuff on this end. But cool stuff. Gotta go. All right, man, gotta go, take care. Yeah, thanks BJ. So that's the one I use. It's from, this is actually the one from WorkSharp. Uh, just has their coloring on it. Not as cool as the Benchmade one, but one day I'll actually open a Benchmade one, but... Oh, Patty's here. Nice, nice. Turret's a tank. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. I must have missed that. Lynx is here. Oh, you're in Walmart? Can't play audio? Oh, that sucks. Oh, you could have sent some across? Yeah. Well, I, you know, if anybody wants to send anything over um, for my next giveaway, I'm going to do you know, one for my 2000. Now I wasn't expecting Slicey to give me a shout out like he did, which was awesome. So I really appreciate that. But what that did is it's kind of bumped me up over 1800. So I'm really pushing now to get a bunch of things. I already got a nice package sent over from a viewer subscriber, um, who donated before. So if you saw my 1000 giveaway, you probably know who that is. I'll lead more to that here this next week. Um, but yeah, so let me know, uh, get you my shipping address. You can ship some stuff out, uh, give you a shout out for it. But I'm, I'm also reaching out to a couple, uh, you know, knife manufacturers and those kind of things to get stuff to go on. So, all right. So let's get to the business at hand. That's going to be a giveaway. Yeah, exactly. Blast the audio all over, all over, all over. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to subscriber giveaway video. We're going to copy and then we're going to paste it into the random YouTube picker. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. Yeah. So let's filter duplicate comments or duplicate users. 181 unique commenters. Okay. So we're going to go with the first package from that was donated by Pearson custom knives. And I threw in a polka pen with that, but it's a key bar. So here we go. Winner number one for package number one, get my light and my blinds, all sorts of stuff. Tailspin 215. Take a screenshot of that tailspin 215. Congratulations. You have one week to contact me. Win this stuff right here. I'll ship it out to you. If you're international, We'll work something out. We'll try to keep the price down. We'll go from there. Okay. Should we pick another one? Let's pick another winner. Okay. So this one's going to be for the second one, which is the Mighty Hanks and the Right in the Rain notebook and Right in the Rain pen. 
Let's get it, get it, that one going. Let's see who that is. Oh, Tailspin's here. Nice. Joe Flo, congratulations. Tailspin, nice. You're here. That's so awesome. Yeah, so now Joe Flo won package number two. So uh, go ahead and I'll, you can either drop a comment on this video, Tailspin and Joe Flo, and uh, let me know what your email address is. And then I'll shoot you an email and we'll work out shipping details, get it sent out to you this week. Yeah, Joe Flo. Okay, so number three, which is the Benchmade Guided Field Sharpener, Morale Patch, and Sticker. We'll go with Pick Another Winner. Good luck, you guys. And I'm really, really excited to get this stuff out to you. I'm even more excited to get a, hit 2,000 subscribers and get some good giveaways going for that. So here we go. Here we go, here we go, number three. Oh, Lorenzo Medina. Nice. Good job, Lorenzo. Congrats, congrats. Just hit me up, Lorenzo. We'll get this shipped out to you. Appreciate that. What, anything else you guys want to talk about? You guys watching the basketball playoffs? Who's your favorite team? So cool that we got this stuff sent out to people today. It was really, really cool to see that people are watching. Tailspin, all that stuff. It's so fun when that happens. Basketball is lame this year. Yeah, it's all good though. It's all good. Congrats to the winners, man. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, it's almost Blade Show time. Heck yeah. I wish I could go. I'm trying to move something from work to go, but. Ooh, Tiger Woods won the Masters. Holy cow. Not much of a sports guy. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, hockey playoffs. Yes, hockey. Yes, hockey. Man, Tiger Woods, fifth Masters. That's great. Anyways, just want to say again, check the link below. Thanks to Pearson Custom Knives. Check them out on Instagram. Also, thanks to Slicey Dicey. That was a really cool shout-out he gave me. I'm really glad he likes his new Benchmade Anthem. That knife is awesome. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, hope you guys are having a good, good day. See you later, Patty. Take care. Any decent knife stores in Arizona? I'm not sure, Morgan. Better than the bingo night. I know, that's so cool, huh? Yeah, it's good stuff. IndyCar. Oh, yeah, nice. I'm kind of into NASCAR myself more than that. Yeah, big ups to Slicey. Slicey's cool beans, man. Hope to hang out with him soon. Valtax and Mesa. Okay, yeah, Valtac Tactical. Man, I got some good stuff coming away from that. Oh, Rodney, you're in the shop working. Okay. Yeah, you're probably working a lot. JCB67, have a great week. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I got some some gear packs. I don't know if you see my last one. I got some gear packs coming up from Valtech Tactical. It's good stuff. Not for America. Want to get into basketball. All right. Later, Jiffer68, JR. Yeah, Valtech Tactical. I totally forgot they're in Arizona. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I picked up some things from them. A um, couple, two bigger packs and one smaller one. Slicey's in the house. What up, Slicey? Yeah. They, I don't know if you heard, man, but I gave you a shout out, dude. So thanks. Ryan Pearson. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate everything. It's good stuff. You guys donating to my giveaway. That was pretty awesome. So really, really enjoy that. It was really cool to have people live that actually won. So... That was even more cool. So that's really awesome. Yeah, hopefully, uh, oh, you're just logging in. You still carrying that Anthem today? I was carrying mine yesterday because you got me all hyped up. But I had to start carrying my purple bug out today. International part due from Benchmade. I may have seen that. I, I may have seen that one, the red one with the S90V. Anthem in your pocket. Nice. I like it. Yeah, so that red anthem, I have one on order from a, a dealer. So we'll see. We'll see what the cost is. They haven't uh, they haven't posted a cost yet on it. So I got my I guess dibs in on one, but haven't officially placed the order. So 
I got some, I got some other, you know, irons in the fire for that, but they only made 300 of them. So got to get them from out of the country and then have them shipped back. So being in Oregon, it's even silly. Like when I got the Benchmade uh, 940, the international one last year. Oh, it's pretty sweet. You've seen it. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was just really weird because it was like, they were like, really? Um, oh, you're going to a show? You're going to Germany and stopping at a shop that has a red Pardue, 249 euro. Okay, yeah, let me know, Slicey, totally. That'd be awesome. Filthy Egos here, nice. Yeah, that's one of those things that, uh, so anyways, it was just kind of weird when I got that 940 International last year, and they were got my shipping address, and it's Oregon. They're like, didn't it get made in Oregon? I'm like, yeah. Oh, you have it. Oh, okay. Nunez in Canada and has it. Right on. That's pretty cool stuff. I really like that they do those, so... It's kind of neat that we get them, but sometimes it, it could go for a lot, lot more. So, hey Zach, so the tie backspacer on this one is from Rock Scale Design. Yeah, that's the tempting part, Slicey. It's in S ninety V, and it's got the red G ten. So, been kind of on a red kick lately. You know, got that super freak with the red going. But yeah, I really like I really like the way these tie backspacers work. And I don't know if you've seen my other video, but it takes out a lot of the other stuff. Red Anthem would be awesome. Yeah, so I've seen some people doing some, you know, antiquing and other things to the titanium on that. I've seen like a green. I saw a purple. I'm like, oh my gosh, a purple Anthem. Come on now. But I got to go buy another Anthem now. But yeah, so I really like the tie backspacer on this. It takes out that flex that a lot of people are worried about. I mean, it still flexes a little tiny bit, but not too much. If you want one, you hook me up and be there, be there the 23rd. Yeah, just let me know. If I get one before then, I'll message you and let you know I got one. But if not, then yeah, definitely. You're ordering one now? Yeah. Yeah, they're good stuff. And I think he opened up his books this weekend, didn't he? I think Rockscale opened up his book again, his books. I like to have my anthem murdered out. Yeah, that, there's so many cool things and so many cool people doing stuff with, you know, customizing knives. So somebody else, like, just like this, you know, this is a, a tan handled stock version of this is like tan, light brown, but it's from, you know, Honey Badger. And of course the, the blade itself is normally like kind of a satin or stone washed. But uh, JT modded this one, modded the backspacer, everything else. So, yeah, one or two of the red ones. Yeah, whatever works. I'm hoping I can get one for my channel, um, at least to review, and then maybe return like a library book checkout system. <laughs> and so I've kind of put my request in on that. And they're pretty good about it, but you never know. They may have shipped all of them out, so... They might have like a, maybe like a research one or one they were doing testing on that they might loan me for, you know, sign, I've signed my life away or something, but they like, might loan it to me because they're pretty good. They know me pretty well over there. So we'll see. But yeah, so it's pretty good stuff. USA made blades will anno it, no extra cost. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Now I just have to save up and get another Anthem. But yeah. I did get another thing this week, this last week. It's probably not gonna fit on the camera though, totally. Move this, I don't wanna break it, but it's gonna be in a little bit larger box from CRKT. And you saw me give one of these away on, CRKT donated one of these for my thousand subscriber giveaway, but it's the T-Hawk, the Chogan T-Hawk. but I don't think they sent me the right one. The Woods Chogan T-Hawk, but I was hoping to get the black one, but they sent me the silver version of it, blade-wise, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get that returned, but we'll see. Yeah, if not, I'll just go out and hammer down with it, try it out, and I don't know, you guys have uh, pro probably seen, but yeah, it doesn't fit on camera, sorry. My camera setup right now is just on top of my desk. Maybe one day it'll work out. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, one of the things we did was uh, 
Oh yeah, you got yeah you got the 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 nice one, the black handled or the black coated blade one I think that they donated to me. So that's pretty cool. Not a complaint, just thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah, it's that's the hard part. So I have. I, have you guys heard of silky saws? The silky saws. Um, they're like a folding saw that you can take with you. Um, so I used one of those last about about a week, week and a half ago. Got together with a buddy, a um, couple buddies, and yeah, the folding saws. And basically went and just sawed through some big logs. You know, really put it to the test. Also tested out a another little small, you know, kind of hatchet. And I'll tell you what, it was probably a good, you know, 10 inch in diameter log. And, you know, there was three of us that were swapping off just on, you know, trying it out, cutting up different pieces and stuff. What's up, Lou? The Lou D711. Barry's here. You have the Tomboy. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a pretty big one. Uh, but I have a video I'm putting together on that right now. We, we shot a lot of video with it, but... You prefer the Baco Laplander though? But I'll, yeah, one thing I'll tell you, and you guys probably have known this if you use a lot of them, uh, our Aventis here, what's up? And that's one of the hard parts is, is the, the blade on that never got warm. Oh really, the Silky Zumba is, is good? Yeah, and they make a bigger one than the one I tried out and it looks like a katana, a folding katana, but it was so crazy because you know, no matter how big of a uh, log we cut, it stayed cool. So obviously super sharp. Uh, we didn't abuse it because it was loaned to me by a friend. So a friend of mine at work's like, Hey, you need to check this out. It's good stuff. But yeah. So anyway, so pretty cool about that. You'll see that one going on. So my honey badger is going to be the medium, uh, medium honey badger compare it to 940. That's kind of your size comparison right there. But yeah, Medium sized honey badger works for me really good. All right, big red. See you later, man. Nice show last night. Look forward to next Saturday. Saturday night live with big red, big red EDC. Got him over a thousand subscribers. So that's good. But yeah, Peter North. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. What concealed knife should I purchase? Well, if you're going to conceal it, check it whatever state you live in first, because a lot of times they don't let you conceal too many. It depends on which state you're in. I know here are certain knives uh, in Oregon, if it's assisted or auto or dagger or double edge, you can't conceal it. But if you leave it sticking out of your pocket a little bit, that technically doesn't make it concealed, but... Anyone make a 943 exclusive? That's a good question. I don't know if the 943 exclusive, you mean something like this with Knifeworks or one of the other companies? I don't know if they've ever gone with a 943. I think the last one I saw was like a Harley Davidson one or something like that. How long have the giveaway been going on? It's been going on for a couple weeks probably at least. What's up, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> the on the movie set. Good looking honky. Nice. Yeah, Kevin, we just did a drawing for the the subscriber giveaway I had going for reaching my 1750 subscriber goal. So yeah, shows all over. Yeah. You want the G10 scales for yours? Yeah, Randy. So I got your email and here's what I got. I set aside I got some scales right here and I'll be emailing you about those. Those are the black G10 ones. And the bug out stuff I still gotta figure out. A couple things on that. So we should be dialed in here. So yeah. Yeah, if you just back up a few Oh, nice. Greetings from Virginia Beach. What up, what up? East Coast. Hopefully it's sunny there. Yeah, so Jace, I did uh, the drawing here a little bit ago. 
and went through, drew three names. It was kind of cool. All right, Slicey, see you later, man. Oh, a live show in a couple hours. All right, I'll be there. I'll be there. Sounds good. And I just lost power on my lighting for some reason. That's fun. Not really, but it is what it is. Yeah, Slicey. Yeah, that's cool, man. He's a cool dude, man. He was he was very, very gracious in that. And I, jumped, I wasn't expecting it, and so things that I had planned for next week, I'm kind of kicking into high gear now because I'm getting closer to 2,000 quicker. So if I can hit that 2,000, it's good. And if I don't have everything in, Kevin, did I win a bug out? Um, so anybody that's anybody that's that's won, I just ask them to leave their email and a comment on this, and then I'll email them and we'll get in touch on shipping. So uh, Jason, I don't think you won any of them, but I think it was uh, Tailspin. Was it Joe Dirt? Let me look really quick. I will go over the winners one more time. Took screenshots of them. Uh, so package number one went to Tailspin, and he was watching live, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, number two went to Joe Flo, Joe Flo, and number three went to Lorenzo Medina. So I think uh, Lorenzo's already messaged me that I saw pop up, and then we'll go from there. Oh, you'll give me a donation for the giveaway. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome stuff. I really appreciate you guys, you know, and it, it all just goes back into the knife community, you know, stuff that I, you know, listed here. That's one of those things where it's like, you know. I, I donated all this this stuff. You know, I donated all this stuff. All this stuff came from me. All this stuff is good to go. Back to you guys. And then this, which is pretty awesome, was donated by Pearson Custom Knives. So if you haven't checked them out, go check in the link down below. Um, Pearson's Cust Pearson Custom Knives has some good stuff. So and they got some, they're going to send me out a couple things to review um, here in the next month or so. And it should be pretty awesome. So anyways... Hope you guys are doing good, man. Yeah. Definitely stay tuned for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I hope to have that posted here in the next week or two. I'm trying to just confirm up a couple more um, giveaway items that people are donating. And then I'm going to put together my own package like I did last time. So this one came at me pretty quick, so it might not be as big. And my 1,000 was like awesome. I don't know if you guys saw it, but. Oh, thanks, Rodney. I appreciate that. Yeah, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway was, like, amazing for a 1,000 subscriber one. So it's one of those where it was, like, I had CRKT, Benchmade, Hogue Knives, um, you know, all these knife companies, Selby Knives. See you later, Peter. Um, all these companies donate knives and gift packages and stuff, and it was just amazing. So uh, I don't want to, you know, blow it out too much and keep bothering these guys every single time. So... Uh, reaching out to other ones, you know, Wesson Knives donated last time and stuff. So some really good people out there. So, and I have some of my own stuff that I'll donate. So it'll be good for everybody. It'll be really good. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I know Slicey's going to have a live video going here and uh, here in a couple hours. So tune into him, check that out. Uh, no, so I'm working with Big Brown Bear on that. And so he's at the Eugene Knife Show this weekend, um, teaching people how to sharpen their knives freehand on stone and also selling some products. So if you're in the Eugene, Oregon area, go down, check him out. If not, see you later, Norman. Thanks again, man, for everything. I'm going to include some of your stuff in the coming up giveaway. But yeah, so Big Brown Bear's got some stuff going with that. And so we should be hooking that up in the next week, so... You should try to customize a honey badger yourself for the giveaway. Yeah, I might do that. I did that for my one of my giveaways before. Uh, I did a giveaway on some stuff. Take care, Randy. Yep, we got the we got the 940 stuff going for you. So, and then we'll work on the bug out stuff after that. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys coming checking out my live video giveaway. Stay tuned for more knife videos coming this week, and in the next week or two it'll be my next giveaway video. So you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend. 